Welcome to the session of expansion of functions by using Taylor series part 2. This is Swati Nikam, Assistant Professor, Department of Humanities and Sciences, Walchan Institute of Technology, Sulapur. At the end of this session, student can create the expansion of functions about any point with the help of Taylor series. Friends, in earlier video, I have explained you about Taylor series. Let us see one of its expression. Assuming that f of x plus h can be expanded in ascending powers of h, it is expressed as f of x plus h is equal to f of x plus h times f dash of x plus h square by 2 factorial f double dash of x plus h cube upon 3 factorial f third derivative at x plus and so on plus h raised to n upon n factorial f nth derivative at x plus and so on. Let us call this representation number 1 as Taylor series. Now let us have some examples so that we will get use or implementation of this Taylor series. Example number 1. By using Taylor series, find square root of 9.12 correct to 5 places of decimals. We know that Taylor series is given by the representation I have already explained. Same I have represented over here and call it as representation number 1. Here f of x plus h is equal to square root of x plus h which is equal to under root of 9.12 which is equal to under root of 9 plus 0 0.12 so that we can rewrite it as f of x is equal to square root of x and h is equal to 0 0.12. Now in order to use Taylor series let us find out some successive derivatives of f of x. So f of x is square root of x which can be written as x raised to half. First order derivative f dash of x is equal to 1 by 2 into x raised to minus 1 by 2. Second derivative f double dash of x is equal to minus 1 by 4 into x raised to minus 3 by 2. Third order derivative f triple dash of x is equal to 3 by 8 into x raised to minus 5 by 2 and so on. Now we have to put all these values in equation number 1. So f of x plus h is equal to square root of 9 plus 0 0.12 is equal to f of x is x raised to half plus h times f dash of x is half into x raised to minus half plus h square by 2 factorial into f double dash of x is minus 1 by 4 into x raised to minus 3 by 2 plus h cube upon 3 factorial into third order derivative 3 by 8 into x raised to minus 5 by 2 plus and so on. Now let us substitute x is equal to 9 so that after putting value of x is equal to 9 we have f of 9 is equal to square root of 9 is equal to 3, f dash of 9 is equal to half into 9 raised to minus 1 by 2 which is 1 by 2 into 1 by 3, f double dash of 9 is equal to minus 1 by 4 into 9 raised to minus 3 by 2 which is equal to minus 1 by 4 into 1 by 27, f triple dash at 9 is equal to 3 by 8 into 9 raised to minus 5 by 2 which is equal to 3 by 8 into 1 upon 243. So here in all these representation we have replaced x by 9 and got these values. So that under root of 9.12 can be calculated with the help of Taylor series as f of x 9 is equal to 3 plus h that is 0 0.12 into f dash of 9 is 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 
plus h square 0 0.12 whole square upon 2 factorial f double dash of 9 that is minus 1 by 4 into 1 by 27 plus h cube that is 0 0.12 whole cube upon 3 factorial into f triple dash at 9 that is 3 by 8 into 1 upon 243 plus and so on which is again equal to 3 plus now let us do these calculations 0 0.12 divided by 3 to the 6 minus 0 0.12 square divided by 2 factorial is 2 into 4 into 27 next plus 0 0.12 whole cube multiplied by 3 whole divided by 3 factorial is 6 into 8 multiplied by 243 plus and so on which is again equal to 3 as it is plus 0 0.02 minus 0 0.0144 divided by 216 plus 0 0.00584 divided by 11664 plus and so on which is equal to 3 plus 0 0.02 minus 0 0.00006 plus 0 0.00004 and so on. So, see the further terms are tending towards 0 and they becomes very negligible. Hence, we can neglect the higher order terms and hence we can get our solution as 3.0199. You can verify this answer by using before we proceed further friends write the conversion of minutes to degree and conversion of degrees to radians i hope you have written your answer so we know that 16 minutes is equal to 1 degree and 1 degree into pi by 180 is equal to 0. 01745 radians. Now let us solve one more example. Example number 2. Using Taylor's theorem, find approximate value of sine 30 degrees and 30 minutes. Now we know that Taylor series is f of x plus h is equal to f of x plus h times f dash of x plus h square by 2 factorial f double dash of x plus h cube upon 3 factorial f triple dash of x plus and so on. Let us call this as equation number 1. Friends, always remember that we have 3 different forms of Taylor series. According to your example, you have to choose the correct one and before you write your solution, you have to state that Taylor series. So, we are going to use these rep this representation of Taylor series. Before we proceed, we first convert minutes to degrees and then degrees to radians. So, it is like this. We know that 16 minutes is 1 degree and therefore 30 minutes is equal to half degree. And 1 degree into pi by 180 is equal to point. 0, 01745 radians therefore half degrees into pi by 180 is equal to 0 0.008727 radians so that sine of 30 degrees 30 minute becomes sine of 30 degrees plus half degree which is again shifted to radian as sine of pi by 6 plus 0 0.0087 now here f of x given function is supposed to be sin x and h is equal to 0 0.0087. In order to use Taylor series for the function f of x, let us calculate its successive derivatives of few orders. f of x is sin x, so f dash of x is cos x, f double dash of x is minus sin x, f triple dash of x is minus cos x and so on. 
Now putting all these values in equation number 1 that is Taylor series, we get a representation for sin of 30 degrees 30 minutes as sin x which is f of x plus h times f dash of x is cos x plus h square by 2 factorial into f double dash of x is minus sin x plus h cube upon 3 factorial into f triple dash of x is minus cos x plus and so on. Now putting x is equal to pi by 6 and h is equal to 0 0.0087 in this representation of Taylor series we get therefore sin of 30 degrees 30 minutes is equal to sin of pi by 6 plus 0 0.0087 which is h into cos of pi by 6 plus h square that is 0 0.0087 whole square upon 2 factorial into minus sin of pi by 6 plus h cube is 0 0.0087 whole cube divided by 3 factorial into minus cos of pi by 6. So, in this slide I have already calculated the values of function f and their successive di differentiation at pi by 6. So, f of x gives f of pi by 6 as sin of pi by 6 which is 1 by 2 f dash of pi by 6 is cos of pi by 6 that is root 3 by 2 f double dash of pi by 6 is minus sin of pi by 6 which is minus 1 by 2 f triple dash of pi by 6 is minus cos of pi by 6 which is minus under root of 3 by 2 now let us put all these values in the Taylor series representation here so that we get first term sin of pi by 6 as 1 by 2 plus 0 0.0087 into under root of 3 by 2 plus 0 0.0087 whole square upon 2 into minus half plus 0 0.0087 whole cube upon 6 into minus under root of 3 by 2 plus and so on. And therefore, after calculating this, we get sin of 30 degrees 30 minutes is equal to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.00753 minus 0 0.00001 minus 0 0.00006 plus and so on. So, see if you observe the nature of terms, again they become negligible. And hence we can neglect the higher order terms. And therefore sin of 30 degrees 30 minutes is equal to 0 0.5075. So again you can verify your answer with the correct one by calculating this value on your calculator. Referred a textbook called Higher Engineering Mathematics by P.S. Greval.